Today I'm going to be testing out the weirdest way that I've ever tried to stop snow and ice from accumulating on my driveway. Not that long ago I had a commenter give me advice on a pretty interesting method to keep the snow and ice from accumulating. Today is the perfect environment to give that a try because it is just starting to snow. I've got a little bit of a slick driveway because it's just a little bit damp and we are going to be getting very cold over the next few days so nothing is going to be melting off. We're talking like borderline zero degree temperatures overnight for a few days. To start this experiment off, we go to the kitchen, grab a pot of water, stick it on the stove and warm it up. Now what I got here is one and a half gallons of water, almost up to a boil. I'm doing one and a half gallons of water because I've got a two gallon tank sprayer, a pump tank sprayer out in the garage that I'm going to put this into after it cools down a bit. All right, so basically what I'm doing is I'm making a salt brine, but I'm also adding a little bit of molasses to the mix. Now I've got a solar salt there, which is basically very pure salt, and roughly three pounds of salt can be dissolved into a gallon of water. So I'm going to use a gallon and a half water, but I'm still just going to use three pounds of salt because I'm going to mix molasses into the mix as well. Say hi. Hi. It's cold out here. It's cold. All right, there's three pounds of salt right there. Three point, three pounds, 0 0.4 ounces. To the kitchen. All right, there's my boiling water. There's my three pounds of salt. My wife will love this. Stir that until it dissolves. All right, I am fully diluted and I'm making a big old mess of my pot and my stove. But hey, this is an experiment. Now we're gonna grab molasses. The reason that we put molasses in there is for the stick factor. So when this all goes into the tank sprayer, the molasses um, will Make it all stick to the ground in a nice, like, spread, like, like uh, I don't know, full coverage, and it'll just stick there. So, as opposed to just dropping salt on the ground, the wind just blows it all over the place. The water brine will be lightly sprayed on the ground. The molasses will help it stick there in place. You could put an entire 12 ounce, uh, I believe, into a gallon of water. I'm only going to do, I don't know, maybe three quarters of this bottle into a gallon and a half, because, I don't know, it just seems like a lot of molasses. Kind of looks like humic acid. Probably turn this off. Whoa, we're going to make a sticky mess here in a second. All right, I think we're safe. Move this off the burner here. There, that's better. Look at that. That looks nice. I gotta cool it off. Can't put boiling water into my plastic tank sprayer. All right, I put a little ice in here and then I'm gonna let it sit outside because it's like freezing outside. It's just cool down. All right, will my wife ever know that this happened? Only if she watches my channel. We gotta clean up after ourselves. All right, the storm is rolling in as we speak. It's not really here yet. The flurries have started, then they stop and whatnot. This driveway, here, let me show you. Subscribers of this channel know about my driveway. It is long, skinny, steep, and it's quite dangerous during the winter. This bend that you see here is really dangerous. Regardless of the vehicle that we're driving, four-wheel drive, studded tires, whatever. We've slipped off of this driveway a handful of times over the past couple years in winter conditions, and it's just rough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, or I'm gonna put this brine solution into the sprayer, and I'm going to lightly spray everything all the way up. So I'm gonna get a nice even coat all over the driveway. 
my guess is since everything is in solution in the water and it's going to be a really smooth coating you're not even going to be able to see it on the driveway now as a lawn care guy i've been using this sprayer for a couple years now it used to be a battery sprayer but the battery stopped working on me and then i was using it as a pump sprayer in the 2021 season out on the lawn but then it started leaking on me so i have downgraded this i almost threw it away but i kept it uh, so i'm going to use this as my salt uh, solution tank i don't know if i'll keep it over the year into the following winter season but right now i got it and i don't want to throw salt in my main lawn sprayer since i spray stuff on the lawn with it so this is a pretty good uh, application if you were to try to do this you could go and buy a really cheap pump sprayer at any big box store and it would work just the same i mean we're just talking putting salt brine with molasses on the driveway here so you don't need anything fancy even if this is leaking and dripping all over the place i don't really care Spilled a little bit. I think it's okay though. All right, that's one of the weirder things I've ever done with my lawn sprayer. Uh, it's getting colder and winterier with every passing minute here. So we'll check up on this again later today and tomorrow. Okay, it's cold. It's about 26 degrees right now. I should be wearing a big jacket, but I'm in this light sweater. So let's make this fast. We didn't get as much snow as I expected, but here in the shady area, kind of the north face of the house, uh, obviously everything stuck to the ground over here it was kind of like came down as snow melted when it hit the pavement because we've been cold for a while and then it and then it melted and froze so i mean this is i can't really get this on camera but this is slippery pavement let's start going down the hill i got to be really careful as i walk you can kind of see a line here not sure exactly why i didn't do anything here but it's not slippery here, it is here. I don't know, maybe because it's a hill. But as we go down, you can see, okay, you can see. So this area right here is kind of glazy. Let me move my hand. You see that? It kind of looks like a glaze. And then as we get down to about there, that's where I stopped putting the, uh, the salt brine down. It is much darker looking. Let's go feel it under my foot. It doesn't look different. But here, everything looks wet. Oh man. Whoa, you could feel the difference, like serious difference here. This just, I mean, this just feels like pavement. It looks wet, but it's just like pavement. All of this area, this is where I put the salt brine down, salt and molasses brine. It just feels good, sticky, tacky. Like I've got grip. It looks moist, which is funny. But there's so much grip here. And then as we get up here where it actually looks dry, and this is where my feet are actually sliding a little bit. They just feel slipperier up here. Pretty stinking cool. I'm gonna continue following that tomorrow morning. There's a chance that we're gonna get some more snow tonight. It is gonna get very cold tonight. 
if any more snow comes down, we'll see how it accumulates on the ground. But right up here at the top, it's more slippery, significantly more slippery than on, this, on the area that I put the salt brine down. I'm going to follow up with this in a community post. I don't think it's worth a full video, so make sure you subscribe to that, and I will give you a follow-up post on this. And then I want to leave you with this video up here about snowblower amplification, all about what to do after you use your snowblower. So uh, watch that video, and then take a look at all my spring lawn care videos, which I have linked down in the description below. All of you guys living up north, it's a while away from spring for you guys, but I promise you it will be here in April.